So, I opened an Etsy shop. A couple of months ago, I opened up my Etsy shop selling hand-painted needlepoint canvases called AMK Needlepoint. Needlepoint is definitely a bit more of like a, a niche industry, um, as maybe I'll go into another time. I really got into designing my own canvases very quickly. Um, from when I started needlepointing, I was familiar with other kinds of needlework, but very new to like needlepoint itself. If you're new here, I'm anime and I usually post style, lifestyle kind of content here on YouTube. Previously, grad school kind of content, but I'm done with that now, so that's weird. We're gonna be doing a bit more job search stuff in the future, but today I'm gonna to be talking about opening my own Etsy shop. I've always been kind of entrepreneurial and always very very crafty from a young age and especially into like sewing and needlecraft so I started to get into needlepoint maybe I took like an interest in it like this time last year and things just escalated really quickly uh, almost immediately I was designing my own canvases which then turned to like painting them and I was getting a lot of interest online uh, when I was posting things on my Instagram for this channel which is at anime by design and it kind of planted the seed that maybe I could actually sell these canvases people might want to purchase these designs so from there I started designing more and more really for my own consumption but I was getting interest from other people so I was like I could sell these if I wanted to and in a caffeine fueled haze uh, I actually opened my shop in the summer uh, it wasn't intended to open that early I was only intending to open it about now but we're kind of doing a full launch now I'll just call it a soft launch what happened uh, in July so don't mix caffeinated drinks and excedrin that's what we learned from that experience basically today I've been working on things already because I tried to film this intro clip a couple of times and it just wasn't working so that's why we're outside just it's nice it's like 5 6 p.m. it's 6 p.m. now so um, it's a little late in the day but I still need to take product photos because nothing was working out earlier on I'm launching two new canvases this week the week that this video is going up that's why I thought I would film this and share this I currently have two designs up on my shop and only one of them is permanent actually uh, which is the I'll put the permanent design up here and it is the Sicilian inspired lemon canvas and I love that design so much So the wind is going to be interrupting me as I talk but I have as I said two new designs coming this week they are both Irish inspired and specifically from the west as this wind is coming to join us and the clouds are changing the lighting all the time uh, I will show you the two canvases on screen I guess I'm doing one which is the cliffs of mohair like traditional sign the really old-fashioned iron sign that's just black and white that's a really simple beginner canvas and it's just something iconic and I think it would be really nice if you had visited the cliffs and you want a little ornament to remember that I think it's a really cute option and then the other thing is what I'm so so excited about and it is a clara symbol which is a traditional Irish symbol um, I will maybe get into that I'm gonna have it in the product description um, and I'm definitely gonna be talking about that on Instagram so definitely follow me at AMK needlepoint on Instagram I'm so excited to launch that canvas I don't really know if it's gonna be popular because it's quite specific I'm actually wearing my clattering today um, but it's a really important traditional Irish symbol it's just something I love so I thought it would be a beautiful piece to needlepoint and I did and using gold thread and it's just the finishing on mine is not great which kind of breaks my heart but that's a whole other issue so today I'm gonna to be taking the product photos for those canvases they've already been designed and painted at another point I'll probably take you through the whole design process the painting process cutting canvases paints I use all stuff like that another time but canvases right now are painted and before I can list them I obviously have to take photos so I'm gonna be taking product photos now <laughs> that's why I'm filming this intro clip uh, just before I eat my dinner I'm gonna be taking product photos for those two new canvases and they're gonna be for both Etsy but also for my Instagram at MK needlepoint which is also where I share things that I'm stitching that I did not design it's just 
for everything I didn't want it to be like shop specific if you're at all like new to needlepoint and you're interested or if you know me in person especially and you're watching this and you're interested in needlepoint please message me I'd be so happy to help uh, I have beginner canvases that I'm not selling but are painted so you can get one of those I'm so excited to launch these products I don't think they're necessarily gonna be super popular but I'm just they make my heart so happy I'm also gonna be launching more products I have a lot of things designed um, I'll maybe go through like the whole how I opened the shop when I was designing the most of these things were designed in class before classes ended um, which for me was in March they didn't end they went offline but when I was in person classes I was at the back of the class designing some of these canvases I'm sorry maybe not as academically focused as I should be but we're fine we got through it yeah so we're gonna go take product photos because I'm actually gonna be taking some of them out in this area of my garden because there's a lot of limestone so I think it'll be good for the cliffs of Moher canvas uh, and yeah, so my Etsy shop will be linked down below if you're interested. Again, you can just message me with any questions you have, but I'm so excited. So uh, let's get to work. So the lighting looks dreadful here, but it's actually quite nice and soft and perfect for taking photos right now. So I'm gonna find a spot here on all of this like limestone. And there's also like a rock over here. It's really ruggedy. And rough looking for the canvas photos because I think it look really good with the whole like cliffs of mohair etc let me turn like that so um, I'm going to get to snapping those photos especially they're great for Instagram and everything as well instead of just like really basic product photos more so for Etsy like the really basic ones but I'm gonna get to snapping before the light really goes away and I'll show you what they turn out like. And if I don't, you can see them on Etsy at this point. Okay, so I don't know how much of that you caught. Uh, this has been running for <laughs> a while now. So I just snapped a lot of the outdoor photos and the lighting is honestly really, really good right now. Kind of wish I had more stuff to photograph because there's another Ireland canvas travel round coming up in probably the next release. So now I'm gonna take the indoor photos, which are honestly much more difficult to take, but We'll figure it out, um, but I'm really happy with how some of those turned out. I like to take my photos outdoors because, I mean, it's a very green country, so it kind of works for these kind. So I'm going to take the indoor photos now, and then I'll get to, like, editing them. Okay, so product photos are done you can just see the little you can't because the brightness there you go the little setup i have here i ended up needing the studio light because it was just too dark um too dull anyways editing will really fix that up so that's what i'm gonna do tonight i think i've already inserted images but if you want to get a better look this is the clara canvas and this is the cliffs of mohair canvas i have a stitched and quite badly finished version of the cladded canvas but this is it um if you can see the crown is done in gold but i wouldn't recommend self-finishing in an ornament in this way but uh you live and you learn but still i think it's really beautiful i'm so excited so yeah i'm just gonna get to editing i guess i can't really show you that um because it's just me at a computer same with listings for the listings i'm going to kind of work on the product descriptions and everything like that as well and i want to put a bit of information about the clad canvas as well because it is a traditional symbol so i want to put that all there so people know what it's all about if they didn't already if you want to check out 
the work I'm doing, just click the link below. I'll have the two listings there. Actually, I guess while I'm here, I'll show you. I'll show you some things I've already stitched because I'm sitting right by like, this is my workstation. I have my desk over there, which is where I usually paint. And then behind this door is where I hide everything else needlepoint related. So um, this is one of the first things that I designed and it says I'm nicer when I like my outfit. This was done entirely like I designed it just on um, grid paper in class. What's new? I love, love, love how this turned out. This was not the original color scheme I had chosen. The only thing is this is going to be finished into a cushion, but the only thing is I cannot for the life of me find fabric to match it but hopefully i'm going to the knitting and stitching show in london at the beginning of october so i'm hoping maybe i'll find fabric there i'm gonna bring little pieces of the colors i used for this because they're kind of different if i don't i'll just finish it as is and make it a tiny cushion but i'm obsessed with this um and i'm considering bringing this to the shop this is on it's on twist canvas because that's what i began working on but um i think this is 14 mesh i think or could be 10. i'm not sure but i love this similar color scheme to that because i just bought a bunch of pink because i love pink um i ended up designing this canvas as well this is also going to be finished into a cushion it says grow and as you can see a little heart in the or the Draw is the Irish word for love. And I did cashmere stitch in the background. Uh, if you stitch, you would know. <laughs> but um, I really like how this turned out as well. This is also something I consider bringing to the shop, but it's an Irish. So I know something that is like Irish E is appealing to a lot of people, but uh, things that are maybe written in Irish don't have a universal appeal. And I don't know any other Irish needle pointers. So there's that. I also have here, actually, I'll show you a finished version, but I have these really cute canvases of a robin that I designed. And I actually think I'm gonna repaint these and put these in the shop because they're just so doty, like they're so cute. Um, I have a finished, I have a bunch of those painted even without backgrounds. Here we go. It's not fully finished, but I did this. Um, there's a lot of robins where I live. I love them. I thought I would design a cute little canvas of one and just the pale blue because it was a color that I liked. This is on 18 mesh. Um, I think this is maybe a five inch round, but I like rounds that are slightly larger, which you'll see in some of my other stuff. But this is something I'll almost certainly bring to the shop. If you know me in person or just want one, like hit me up because these are on twist, like Leno twist canvas. Um, so it's perfectly fine, but I've just come to understand that people said it's not really you don't really sell twist you just sell regular mono if i'm incorrect let me know because i have like six of these painted in different variations with no background with the square background with the circle so um they're perfectly good to go if it's if i can sell them but i'm just not sure if i can um obviously i showed you this already also needs to be finished this is one of my own designs as well this is the lemon it's kind of overexposed you follow me and you'll see the proper photos of it on instagram but this is kind of inspired by sicily and sicilian lemons there's a here of mine so this is one of my own designs i'm obsessed with this i'm going to frame this one but i need to do that I don't know if I should, I've showed this already. This is gonna be the next, I think it's on Instagram already. This is the next design coming to the shop. It's an Ireland ornament. Um, I'm open to making revisions to it. If you have any opinions, let me know. Um, a, a lot of the ornaments I saw had things like leprechauns and pots of gold on them. Um, so I'm all for Guinness being on them, but uh, leprechauns, pots of gold, just not. Just don't vibe with that. Also, I saw four leaf clover on something and I was like, no. So this has a uh, like little high cross, it has music notes. I'm from the West, so it's like home of Irish traditional music. So I thought I'd put that there. An Irish flag, a little sheep that I did in French knots and a shamrock. And this is Ireland and it says era, which is the Irish word for Ireland. And then the country in the background. So I think that's cute. Um, I did not design this, but it says, this is fine and it's the meme and I'm gonna do that that's my official 2020 ornament and yeah I have more stuff but I feel like that's enough of what I've stitched um because this is like a five minute clip but 
yeah, I thought that was just a fun way to add something else to this video. That is a little look into what I'm doing for my new Etsy shop. Uh, definitely check it out. The link is in the description. Follow me on AMK Needlepoint and at Anime by Design. It's just such a passion project for me. I just love doing it. So I would love for you to check out both of those links for more needlepoint content, but also for style, specifically like more preppy style, lifestyle content job searching that'll probably take me internationally which is terrifying but also very exciting kind of content be sure to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video